Hello YouTubers, my name is X-Factor. This is an empty Golf of Oman server. I am playing on 1080p at pretty high settings. It's a custom blend of settings. And I'm using two GTX 770s EVGA super clocked with ACX cooling running at 1000 and 1100 megahertz before they hit boost. When they hit boost, they're at around 1200. So why am I doing this? There's a frame counter in the top right. Also of note, when the 700 series cards came out, the original NVIDIA driver that was released had some problems with BF3. There were some texture problems. Sometimes your gun would turn pink or some crazy color, and then sometimes complete wall textures would change and the game would just simply be unplayable. I never had that problem and I've been playing on these cards for two days and I've got great cooling. The cards have never hit above I think 64 degrees under full load. So I've got a long way to go before they get hot. But thanks to you guys, the forum members, the community members, somebody pointed me on the forums to some bootleg NVIDIA drivers that are here before they're released. It's a leak. They're the 320.39, and it's been about a day since they've been posted on the forums. I'm going to give you guys a link down below, and it works for the 500, the 600, and the 700 series cards, but the only people I'd recommend them to are the people that are having texture issues that have 700 series cards right now. If your 600 series card is running well, don't mess with it. This is really to fix a texture issue. Now some people are talking about higher frames with these drivers, and of course since it's Nvidia, just like any driver, you can roll back. So why would I pick Gulf of Oman? It is an empty map, that is true, because there are massive frame dips when you hit this construction area. See right there, there's an 86 down to a 91. And it's important to note that I'm recording on a new codec, which gives me about 15 frames loss on this map. Uh, it seems to be a little less on others, but I imagine it's a scaling issue. So I'm actually losing 15 frames while recording, and I have my frames uncapped for you guys. So it'll hit about 200 when it goes to a hard cap. Usually I cap at 121 uh, while recording because I've got a 120 monitor, right? And as you can see, uh, it's pretty smooth, these drivers. I've been running them, like I said, for the last day and a half or so, and I've been pretty happy. It was an improvement for me with these two cards over the original drivers that came out the gate with the 770s from Nvidia. So there will be a link down below. If you're going to use these drivers, just pay attention to the temperatures of your card. You should be running something like MSI Afterburner or EVGA Precision so you can see the temperature and make sure to set your fans up properly to scale to keep those cards cool. Again, everybody's card runs at a different temperature. These two cards are some of the coolest on the market right Right now with the ACX cooling so when I hit 65 degrees under full load you probably won't hit that especially if you have a 400 or 500 series card or 4,000 5,000 series card for AMD which you could cook breakfast eggs and bacon on both those sets so buyer beware try these if you want don't forget you can roll back and let me know what you guys think I'll be demoing uh, this codec and some of my settings in game and some actual footage now that I've got these 770s running and I'm pretty happy with the way they've turned out as always youtubers thanks for hanging out thanks for watching if you found this information useful don't forget about the old thumbs up and the link for the bootleg and video drivers will be down below we'll see you guys soon take care